Hey guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jody, sharing with you my June beauty favorites. And we're looking at pretty much all makeup items this month. I'm going to start with some face products, then work into the eye makeup and finishing up with some lip products for you. So first up, face products. I recently posted this product on a haul that I made. I got this one online from lookfantastic.com and I am loving it. It's the Cordelli Beauty Elixir. It says that it's smoothing, glowing, complexion giving. It's 100 mils in a nice glass bottle and basically it's got like a layer of oil that you can see on top. You just shake it up and you're supposed to spray it on your face. But I actually bought this product because I saw Lisa Eldridge recommend this. And what she does is she shakes it up and then she sprays it into her hand and it's got the most delicious refreshing scent. I do exactly what she said she does. She inhales the beautiful sort of eucalyptus minty type menthol smell. It really refreshes and clears. And then with just what's left on your hands there from rubbing them together, I'll just press them onto my face. Really, really nice for taking on the plane. Really nice for sort of a midday refreshment. I've really been enjoying this product. I love it. If for nothing more than just the scent and then to be able to just pop it on my face afterwards. I will also use this after I've powdered if I feel like my face is just looking too dry and matte and that I could benefit from a few of the oils I will definitely spray this on as a sort of setting spray as well in the morning really really enjoying this it says that it is suited for all skin types couldn't recommend this more it's just a beautiful experience to use this product I would definitely be repurchasing this so that's my first favorite for the month next favorite is some more of these beauty powders that have come out fresh on the market this time from Chanel I have two shades in the La Beige range in the number 20 and the number 50 and again I've posted about these in a recent haul also I got the two shades thinking that one could be a you know finishing setting powder for all over my makeup and then the other one for the bronzer so this is the number 20 here this is the 50 here I am wearing them right now I love the 50 as a bronzer I find that both are very smoothing I've really been enjoying these powders quite a lot they do just sort of soften everything up they just smooth everything out and I don't think I've got a more sort of smoothing bronzer are than this one really really enjoy those shades for my sort of NC 25 to 30 skin I would describe it as now it's probably lighter NC 25 will go with last base product for the month is from prestige and this is their skin loving minerals line this is their fresh glow baked mineral blush and this one is in the shade terra rosa it is domed and sort of mottled like most sort of baked bronze blushes and I've pulled this one out because I have been on the search for the Laura Mercier baked bronzer blush in ritual if you watch Vanessa bombshell suite you would see how gorgeous it looks on her it's a limited edition product from Laura Mercier right now and I thought I'd look in my collection and see what I had similar just to tide me over and this is what it looks like excuse the kitten scratches all over my hand but basically it looks like that it's like a brownie rosy shade it's one of those shades that you can use as a bronzer and a blush in one and go I really really love it it's beautiful it really doesn't have much of a sheen to it but it's just sort of a healthy glow that's what it looks like blended out I just absolutely love it I really love that moving on to the eyes I've really really been enjoying this shade of MAC fluid line if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you would see that I have posted quite a few eye of the days with this gel liner this is the fluid line in rich ground and you can see rich ground is just a beautiful bronzy shimmery brown I find this beautiful to line my upper lash line with also my waterline and I'll also even use this as a color base that's what it looks like there it's just a beautiful coppery brown shimmer shade stays a very very long time in the waterline and I am loving it and then a few more products on the eyes I've really been enjoying all of these brushes they are really helping with a more defined crease that's blended out with the least amount of effort so I'll start with the thinnest brush this brush I bought because of Miss May 27 here on YouTube my friend Sani and she recommended this in one of her brush videos probably a year ago it's the Inglot 10 
S brush. It's quite a fine domed brush here. You can see it's quite stiff, definitely a synthetic, really, really nice for precision crease work. Love that. And then I'm really also enjoying this brush. This one has come up at least a couple of times in previous favorites videos from Mint Brushes. It is the number 20 brush. And what I love about this brush is that it is so tapered. So it's much more tapered than like a MAC 224, which is beautiful for blending. But this just gives you a beautiful defined crease that you can blend out with just a little bit more pressure. Love, 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 love this brush. Just depending on how much pressure you put on it will give you more of a blended out or more of a defined crease. Adore this brush. And then finally, I've really been enjoying to blend everything out in the crease and up to the brow bone is this brush from Hakuhodo. It's a little bit larger than the mint number 20 and they don't print the numbers on this brush. So I'm not sure what the actual number of it is, but it's just a slight slightly bigger, fluffy, but yet still tapered crease brush. Love it. Those three brushes all together just have been giving me the most beautifully blended, perfect crease uh, in the least amount of time. I really love a tapered crease brush and these three work together beautifully. Favorite couple of eyeshadows for the month. I'll start with this product from Illamasqua. It's actually a powder blusher duo in Beg and Bronzerella. I bought it at the time for cheeks. This one was recommended to me by Miss Goddess in Training, my friend Aish here on YouTube. And this is the shade Beg. They do sell this one as a separate powder blush. It's just sort of a matte, rosy shade. Quite vibrant there you go that's what it looks like there and then bronzerella is just absolutely gorgeous bronzerella is a shimmery warm coppery bronzy color and I've been using those two shades on the eye believe it or not I've been using beg to sort of blend out a warm crease and then the bronzerella all over my lid uh, I've definitely used this a couple of times on Instagram shots this month really really been loving this product from Illamasqua and would thoroughly recommend it. Finally my last eye product for the month is from MAC. This is my everyday neutral palette. I have done a video going through and swatching all the colors in it but my favorite one for this month would have to be Club. Club looks like this in the pan. It looks quite green probably but basically it's a duochrome product that depending on what you layer it over will show you different colors basically so today I put it all over my lid over a brown Revlon Colorstay smoky eye crown the one called torch really pretty just blended that crown out all over my lid layered the eyeshadow in club over the top and you just get that really nice green duo chrome but then as you blend it into the crease this warm brown tone comes out of it and you get much less of the green duo chrome when you're not layering it on top of a darker black or brown shade. I love this eyeshadow. I always have. And now rounding out the beauty products of the month are the lip products. Really been enjoying this Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. It's got a really lovely honey flavor. Really nice and affordable. It does have vitamin E. It's 100% natural and I've really been enjoying that one. My lips are feeling a little bit dry and I did recently purchase all eight shades of the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. So these have been raved about on YouTube. I will do a separate video showing you swatches of all of these. I do like the product. I don't love the product. That's just a little lead in for you. But I've really been enjoying this particular shade. This one is called Stargazer and it's like a champagne gold shade. You can see it swatched there on the end. So a really nice sort of pinky champagne shimmer. I am wearing it in the center of my bottom and top lip today. Really, really like that. And then finally, my favorite lip combination, which is what I'm wearing underneath that Stargazer, is a lipstick from MAC in the color Myth. Myth is a very nudie shade that on its own is pretty scary. You can see it just would blank everything out. That's what it looks like there on my hand next to the kitten scratch. And pairing that up with this lipstick from Illamasqua in Test, 
really just brings that nude to life a little bit more. This is what Test looks like. The two of them together look like this on my lips. It's just a more wearable nude if you can't wear Myth on its own. They look beautiful together and I got the combination from someone on Instagram. I cannot remember who, but someone I follow on Instagram. They've done a few photos using the two as a combination. So I've really been enjoying the two of those together. That is it for my favorites for the month. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you've been enjoying this month. I'd love to hear from you. I love to hear what products you guys have really been enjoying. So definitely let me know if you have the time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.